Ma, I think I got one. Hey YouTube, Dawson Writer here. Welcome to my review for the Deluxe Gear Tlinger. I think I'm saying that right. It will say it for you in a second. And V-Buckle Set, my first Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger review for the series, and what's going to be the start of basically a, a, a Zenkaiger week on the channel. If you're from the future, you won't really know what that means. But there's lots of Zenkaiger stuff to cover this week. So, you can buy this individually with just the changer by itself or the buckle by itself. But in order to get all five of these guys in the Deluxe form, you're going to need to get both because this only comes with two and this comes with the remaining ones. So other than that you can also get gashapons or candy toys later down the line, but that's the way to get it so far. Let's go ahead and just start with the changer though and we're going to move this guy out of the way briefly. So just to talk about the look of this thing, I think it's pretty cool. It's not an all-time favorite of mine personally, but I think it fits the vibe of the show. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's got a pretty good scale. Like usually, you know, you can have Sentai weapons or changers even that are kind of small, but I think it feels pretty good in the hand. I think the paint and plastic look good. It's nice and colorful. It's pretty creative. It's overall a pretty decent looking changer. You got the name right there, which looks a little bit cheap. This looks like an early 2000s sticker to me. It's kind of cool here on the Gatling bit. You have all the different Ranger colors. There's a nice silver paint here. Here. You got the nice eagle design. Here's obviously the crank going on there, which is going to be instrumental. This piece here actually folds up, so this is just kind of like a stand, which I kind of saw like a, as a sniper stabilization type of deal, but it's also really nice just for reviewers, so you can actually just sit that down so it's a lot easier to deal with. That's obviously why they did it. They did it for us reviewers, clearly. And then, so let's take a look at a couple of the Sentai gears. So these are the gimmicks for this year. They're obviously based on gears. You just kind of have this general kind of dull gold plastic on the outside, and then you have a shiny little design on the inside for whatever it's representing. This one is Zenkaiser, obviously, representing Sentai 45. And then on the back, you have this symbol here, and they look pretty cool. I mean, I do like the shiny look of these. They look pretty neat. I don't think they're grabbing me quite as much as past collectibles. I certainly don't think they're as cool as Ranger Keys, even though I'm not really that into Ranger Keys, but they're not, they're not that bad. Then you have the one for Juren here, and you can see it says 16 because he's representing the 16th Super Sentai Ju Ranger there. He's got the same symbol on the back. Go ahead and turn this guy on. You turn him on right here. And you can see the LEDs right there, and it says its name, and it takes two AA batteries which go in here. So when you just press this, you get some generic blasting noises. Hold it down in this mode, nothing happens, and the crank doesn't do anything in this mode either. So this is pretty much all you get if you're not putting a trigger in there. Or a trigger, a gear. So then load this up, it'll make that sound, and then you put the gear in here just like you would those little, I'm sure you've seen them like when you were little, or maybe even now, those shooters that you put like foam discs in and they shoot. I used to have one that was a Millennium Falcon. That's exactly what it feels like. So let's put it in with the Ranger facing up. You get that confirmation, and then this light will kind of flicker, and now we're gonna do this. And then you head to Jumanji. So there you got the engine sequence. You get that blasting noise afterwards, same one, but if you hold it down, You get that pretty cool sounding blasting noise and then hit it again. Alright, and then it has another attack in this mode, or another sound. It's attack, you know what I mean. Back to Jumanji. Alright, now you can activate more sounds for this one by taking it and flipping it around so it has the arrow facing on top. So that obviously is the sound for the Gatai, the transformation, and it'll still make that same sound here when you hold it down. But then you got one more attack noise with this. Alright, so you get basically four sounds. You get one for each, or two for each side of this. Now let's go ahead and do Jurans. And 
and then same sounds, so it doesn't differ from Zenkaiser's for that. Alright, now we flip it over. Alright, now before we get to the other three, let's take a brief hiatus to take a look at okay, the belt. Okay, as far as the belt goes, nothing too special to write home about. You have the black strap here, I kind of put it on funny because I just did it haphazardly. I do like the design of it, kind of based on a classic Sentai look with the Sentai V there. I feel like this gray on here is really dull, I wish it popped a little bit more. These things are never really exciting, they're basically just a quote unquote fancy way to get you to buy more gimmick stuff. But I do like the design of it, I just think it would look better on the shelf if the gray didn't look so dull. But the gold here looks fine. But the main thing is, is it holds some of your gimmick and it includes more of these if you want to get the DX versions. And right there you can see it has these three in there, but it holds six, which isn't going to be an enormous amount as you get farther into collecting if you're going to be collecting more. But it's more than most. Like a lot of these will hold like one, two, or three, and it's basically not even worth it, but at least this holds a little bit more. But nothing too huge to write home about, I just figured I'd go over in the middle before we go over these. Now then, let's continue our sound tour with yellow. Whoops, almost wrong way. Same noises, just to show you. Let's flip it over. And just in case you thought I forgot, I just wanted to give you a look at it right there so you can see the design of it right there with the 25. This one is for Gal Ranger, obviously, and then the same symbol on the back. Okay, now for pink.
And here's your look at her gear, 29 based off of Magi Ranger. And then we have our last one. Now your look at his, based off of 30, which was one of the anniversary seasons as well, for Bokenger. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid and fun changer. I like the look of it, I like the way the gears work. I do like the way this works, it can be kind of fun and satisfying, but at the same time, it gets a little old. In a way, it does remind me of the Ryu Soldier line, where you got a little with the chomping on the sword, and after a while, like, I thought it was neat, but then after a while, when you owned it, it just kind of got old having to do that to get sounds, so we'll see how it goes as the year goes on. I also have to say, unless you really want to complete them, I recommend maybe just picking up the changer and finding out another way to get the other ones later, just because the belt just isn't worth it. Like, I got it for being a completionist, but if you're not a completionist and you can hold off another way, I just am not a fan of the belt. It's inevitably, I feel, going to be compared maybe to the Mobirates. I know they're vastly different changers in a lot of ways, but because it's an anniversary season, I don't think it's as cool as the Mobirates was. I feel like there was a lot more to do with the codes and stuff, but I still think this one, as I said at the beginning, is solid and fun. I like the look of it. I like the way it works. I think the sounds are kind of a mix of cool and annoying crackhead at the same time. We'll see how those wear on me as the series goes on. But I think if you like the series, you like anniversary changers, and you like what you see, I think you'll be happy. I think it's solid and fun, but it's not blowing me away yet, but I'm enjoying myself. That's for this one, guys, though. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can do just for my videos. Dawson Rider, signing out.